finished all my audio devices. Test. All right, there's that, and let's get everybody else on here. Windows changed all my default audio. That's fantastic. Good job. All right. Go ahead right. and tell us again. Okay, so we were going towards the rangers. Uh, we got attacked by some wolves. There were too many of us. They overwhelmed us and ended up killing Nikolai. Uh, we decided to go back to the university and we carried Nikolai's body until we came across a magical unicorn. And a we magical. asked... Uh, yeah, no, it's okay. Uh, we asked the unicorn to revive Nikolai, but um, sadly, it was unable to. But it did offer to teleport us, and so it teleported us back to Mirashad. Uh, we took the body to the church, and they were like, well, unless you have, like, the diamond, we can't really help. You know, you don't have the money for it. So we took it to the professor. When we told the professor, oh, um, also the unicorn had said to pass along a message in return for teleporting us, basically that the rangers uh, had been infiltrated and we weren't sure if it's all of them or just some of them, but they're hunting unicorns and other forest creatures. And so when we told the professor that, he immediately um, sent us to the church of on her i believe uh to try and uh, stop the rage because they were also supposed to be delivering uh, a note to the rangers and basically if we had delivered our note or if the rage delivers theirs then the rangers are probably going to attack them because they'll know that you know we're on to them basically and they can have like deniability oh we never got it you know they they must have just died so um, in the meantime, he had Nikolai, um, taken care of, said that they, that the university would, um, you know, be able to resurrect Nikolai. Uh, we were going to talk with Nikolai first to make sure that's what he wanted. Um, and we were supposed to do that the next morning just to make sure that, you know, Nikolai wanted to return. And so at that point, Niev and, uh, the others all went to sleep. Um, and in the morning, Brianna woke up <laughs> and it was very confusing, especially for Constog, because all of a sudden someone that looks like her sister is not her sister and the wolf is like growling at her and Brianna is like, you know, freaking out, like as far as there's this wolf after her, um, she's definitely not used to the way that Niev lives and she doesn't really like Niev's sense of style or anything and so um, we tell the professor and he's like uh, he I think has some ideas of like what might have happened but he basically told us that we needed to go uh, talk to Nikolai first and not to tell anyone except for the party what had happened and so that's what we did. Uh, Nikolai wanted to be brought back. And so we were told that Nikolai would be brought back, um, you know. And basically we went to Banana Flies. And <laughs> Erasmus thinks that perhaps Niev has had some kind of mental break. Um, Trent is thrilled because <laughs> Brianna's sense of style is way better than, <laughs> than Niev's. And, uh, oh, and when... Uh, so then after that, then I think Constog was like uh, helping guide Niev's wolf home uh, with Erasmus and uh, Brianna and Trent went shopping and he got her some more outfits or an another outfit and he got her hair done and she was loving that. So and then so but most importantly, where we ended up was we all uh, went to the professor. He called us there and nikolai was there but he had a like a, a ukulele strapped to his back oh and so i think that's, that's where we left off that is where we left off nikolai 
you awaken from the slab. You stand up, and your party is waiting there for you. But you were... You know that... As it was told, as they were, like, bringing you back up. And every time you're brought back from death, there is something extra that has to be taken from you. But they found a way to give you something back in exchange for what would naturally be taken. Um, they assure you you'll be happy with it once it starts realizing where it is. Um, but it may take a little while before that starts to happen. Um, but they did they did make sure that they uh, they handed you a ukulele. And they told you that when the time comes, this will be important. But the party is there, standing around you. Sorry, I'm pretty out of it still. Brianna's hanging You're back right Charles. now. Sorry. How, how do you feel, my friend? Tired. Kind of weird. Not like myself. I don't know. I've never died before, so... Has anybody else died before? I have. Wait, sorry. So does... Niev looks way different right now. But is it still, like, Niev's body? It's still yes. Niev's body. Okay. It's Niev, Niev dressed up in, like... a makeover or something? Oh, yeah. Well, I um... was dead? Like, what? Oh, no, Trent. He, he helped me uh, pick out some new outfits. Niev is not very uh, fashionable, I must say. Why are you talking about yourself in the third person? Uh, oh, I'm... Sorry, my apologies. Um, I, my name isn't Neo. My name is Brianna. Say I'm, what? I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to. I'm gonna like do like like kind of like a face like we're not doing this. You know what I mean? Like to. Um... <laughs> Am I just still in recovery? Is that yeah. what's happening? Still in recovery. Let's take it easy. Because Neo looks like Neo, but says she's not Neo, but she also looks different. So, I, I don't know what's going on. I, I don't really want to throw everything at you all at once, but... I mean, um, too late, dude. You just said you're a different person. Well... Uh, but you so, look like the same person, but more like Trent. So, I am actually a bard. Um, I work for the Ministry of Magic in Sierra Savant, in a town called Knightsbridge. Um, I died to a shambling mound, and... My party uh, contacted me in the afterlife to ask if I wanted to be resurrected, which I did. I love life. Um, the The problem is, is that diamonds aren't readily available uh, in my country, and so they had to use an experimental procedure. And I don't know for sure, but I'm. I, I just know that I woke up as Niev in her body. I, I was a halfling bard, and now I'm an elf. And, and where did Neo go? I, if I had to guess, probably... Well, I, I don't know for sure, but perhaps in my body? I, I don't know. I, in I, your dead body? I, I don't know how it works. Only Anteus knew how it worked. I need to sit back down. <laughs> I don't even know if Anteus knew how it worked, actually. I don't know who Anteus is, so that's not really helping. He was a alchemist in my party. He had this special book that he got from this guy named Harvest. Harcourt? Ooh, actually, yes. For Weirdly, your brain knows the name Harcourt and the last oh, name wow. Harvest. It, there, there was this giant creature that was threatening a town near Knightsbridge and we traveled there because this creature was after a item that this harvest guy had uh, I believe his name was James 
uh, he was after uh, the item that this harvest guy had, and it it turned out to be a book, and nobody can open it except uh, my friend Anteus for some reason. He he's, he was really attached to that book. He liked that book. Okay, so very familiar. This is stuff that happened in the future past. Am I correct? This is Erasmus asking. Because <laughs> I'm my character is all confused about if this has happened in the past, the future past, the future. I will give the current date as I know it. Um, um I don't... you don't actually know the current date. Like neither side really knows the current date. Okay. Okay. So uh I don't really know if this is future or present or past, all I know is that I woke up and I am in a completely different country in a completely different body. Anything else is just a guess. Huh. I scribbled some more notes. What is Brianna's, or what does the hair on your character look like now? Uh, so, Niev liked her hair free and flowing. Mm -hmm. um, Brianna does not because she performs, so she likes to keep her hair like partially braided to keep it out of her face. So she, instead of having like her hair free and flowing like Niev, then her hair actually has like intricate like braids to keep it out of her face while she performs. These must be some bad drugs. <laughs> yeah, you know, Anteus, he, he could make some really good drugs, but I ha so far haven't had any luck finding any here. They have these ones called Harlot Sweets. They're really good. They, in, in fact, when I took one, I had the best performance of my life. What kind of performance do you do? Oh, I sing and dance. And I play a few instruments. I, I can play the flute. Uh, sometimes I can play the accordion. But can you play the ukulele? Is this yours? Oh, no. Uh, actually, I've never played any stringed instruments. Hmm. I'm sorry. I don't know you. I didn't realize that it wasn't yours. I don't know if it's mine. Can you play it? I don't think so. Yeah, plays the song, Nikolai. The song of my people. <laughs> Reach down within yourself and touch that part of you that longs to play the ukulele. I don't know anything. Well, if you if a song comes to you, I, I'll be happy to sing along if I know it. My sister used to play it. Your sister? Yeah. Oh. I take it she's passed? Yeah, she was a really good performer. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. Thanks. Uh, Wait, so what happened after the, the wolves? I assume that's what killed me. Uh, yeah, that's what killed you. So then, uh, unicorn saved everybody. What did it do? A it unicorn. Dimension doored us. Yeah. There's unicorns here. Teleported. Yes. Yes. Oh. Wow. I, I've never seen a unicorn. Always They're pretty spectacular. They're pretty majestic. Maybe I'll see one here. That's kind of cool, actually. So did you guys deliver the note? Um, so what happened was um, things went super soft with the wolf, and um, we decided what was most important was to get you back so that we could do something to you know, bring you back with us. In the process of it, the professor po uh, pointed out that... Um, 
and I'm looking around. Does this seem like a safe place to talk about this? Are, are, should we be under a level of paranoia? No, you are in a very private area. It is locked off. They were leaving this for Nikolai to recuperate after being reawoken. Okay. And um, it turned out that um, the rangers kind of were are behind what's going on. And uh, we had what to do What do you a, mean behind what's going on? So rangers are hunting unicorns. What? And yeah. And that uh, we had to help the rage, which was uh, difficult, but I, I believe we were helpful to them. That group from our class? You know, even they deserve something. Wow. Are the rangers in every world? Are they all just evil? Is that is that the deal? I had some ranger trouble of my own in Sierra Savant. Huh. Huh. I think from what we heard, it wasn't that all of the rangers were evil. It's that hunters were trying to impersonate the rangers and basically sneak into their ranks. Yeah, Wait, I mean, so you don't have a sister anymore? I, I mean, I grew up with a lot of siblings on my family's farm, but I haven't talked to them in a long time. Bonestock, are you dying? Slowly, maybe. Uh-oh. Let's not address that issue. We've got more important things to think about, I think. Oh, it stresses you out too much. It's hard to lose a sibling. It would make you feel better putting on that new outfit I got no. you. No! <laughs> Solid. Okay, uh... Well, I think a lot has happened and a lot of information has been exchanged in, in a very short period of time. Uh, you know, perhaps we should take a break, maybe grab a drink. Um, are you thirsty, Nikolai? I don't know. Some fries sound good, though. All right, fries it is. Banana some, flies it is. Some Banana. snacks. Snacks are all, all I don't fun. really want food. I just like I want I want snacks. Huh. Nana fly wrink- appetizers are snacks. Yeah. Rihanna appetizers. slightly like wrinkles her nose at the at the name banana flies. Like she knows it's the food's okay, but it's like it just puts her off a little bit. <laughs> well, I mean, there's nothing a, a set of fully loaded potato skins can't uh <laughs> can't oh. Uh, oh. That sounds good. I will never Apple. forgive Applebee's for that time with the fully loaded potato skins. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want fully loaded potato skins? Back the fuck off. So you guys get there, and uh, we'll, we'll keep this modern, by the way. They got these new bowls that you guys can try out. <laughs> filled with a bunch of random assortments of things that don't have, don't make any sense to be together, but Applebee's, like, threw some darts at a dartboard. Sorry, Banana Flies threw some darts at a dartboard and was like, oh, yeah, that's an entree right there. Uh, so, yeah, they'll no, suggest to you. No, I just want you, snacks. No, they're going to suggest to you one of their bowls, and they're going to tell you all about how great they are. Uh, oh, the chef hand selects all of the ingredients that are going to go in. Um, and then puts them in, and then it's all like mixed together, like but not mixed together, so you can experience each, each of the flavors individually. No. But they're only eight silver pieces. No thanks. Where's your appetizers? Ah, uh, they're on the menu. Let's just get a sampler for the table. I need my I own like sampler. Some... <laughs> I, I would like a, a halfling portion of your um, your wings. Okay. All right. Well, you can get the foods that you want. Uh, Nikolai, you'll get more food than Nikolai normally gets. And nor- Nikolai normally gets quite a bit. 
Do they have like I'm... a bucket of ice cream I can drown my sorrows on? <laughs> yes, they will bring you as much ice cream as you want. And can pay for. Yes. I, I also want to point out, just out of character, I don't think I've made it very clear, but Nia was a vegetarian, and um, Brianna very much is not. All right. Wait, if it's a vegetarian's body that's suddenly going to eat me. Oh, what crap, if... yeah, that's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man, I was I experienced I someone pee -pee when he was her. going through that. Yeah, oh, that's not going to be pleasant. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've done that to myself. <laughs> um hate to break it to you, you don't eat meat. <laughs> but I Oh, yes, I do. This body doesn't. Are you serious? Yeah. I mean, Constock, she's vegetarian, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, but how does, how would one keep oneself fed? You need protein. Yes. Do you understand how nutrition works? I would guess the answer to that is no. Lots yeah. of sources of protein that are not resulting from the killing of animals. I mean, there's just always four, more animals. There's four, I mean, one, not true, but also forewarning you, your body is going to be real pissed if you eat this playful of wings. So I hope you don't have plans for the rest of the day. Yeah, if you're gonna, I mean, it's common knowledge that if you suddenly start eating meat, right, you, mm -hmm. you don't do well. Yep. So, yeah, your your body is strictly vegetarian as long as I've known it. So, if you're gonna really lay into some steak or something, you're really gonna have an interesting evening. Brianna will kind of sigh, like, fine. I don't want to have an interesting evening in that sense. Uh, I guess you have roasted cauliflower. I also want to add the vegetarian was in that dossier that I carefully laid out, <laughs> and I oh yeah <laughs> feel that uh... I haven't gotten to that page yet. Maybe yes. What? So Erasmus made dossiers on all of us on all of the party, and why? So... You were there. I it's what it was a good does. idea at the time. <laughs> and so I, I, he gave me Niev so that I could study up because apparently I'm going to have to figure out how to pass Druid classes. Can I see mine? Certainly. Now, this would her character not remember the whole dossier discussion? She might, but that, or he might, but that doesn't mean like that he recalled like you can you can know that yeah, somebody did true. something and not recall it i do that all literally all the fucking time so it doesn't yeah, bother me no. at all now Nicolai's we can blame been through a lot <laughs> we can blame anything that i forget on the fact that hey i died okay that's pretty good yeah uh, so i'll go okay let me get your dossier uh, i'm kind of pleased because you know who knew they'd come in so handy um so I, I bring you your dossier, and, you know, um, I'll have to add more to it, you know, because clearly things have happened. Uh, that was weird. I suddenly just started a meeting that I was not aware <laughs> I was starting. But, uh, uh, you know, but we'll, we'll add more to it. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very glad that, you know, I get to see I... You know, I've worked very hard to provide these things for you guys, and I hand uh, her, her, I hand Nikolai his dossier. Do you have one on yourself? Well, of course I do. I <laughs> talked what? about my journaling a lot. Oh. Huh. Huh. <clears throat> yeah, it's got care. detailed notes on how you look, uh, things that you do, how you fight in combat, what spells you cast. Is this a handout that I get to see in Roll20? No. I, I, I never bothered to physically oh. write them up, which I now regret I hadn't. Because I thought this might be the last if I just referenced this once, and it 
I didn't think it would ever come into well, play. Well, here's again. the thing: if you write now. notes, if you write notes like that, you never know when in a campaign the GM is going to use them during your trial to get you <laughs> expelled true. from a party. <laughs> so you've been keeping meticulous tabs on the rest of the party, Batman. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Someone's someone uh, follows the shit. Is it? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh. Okay, and one of the most powerful uh, spellcasters in that entire area got pissed off at me, too. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to just stare at you reading the dossier in excitement. Pretty good, keep huh? my hands clean. Thank you. Mine now to keep though, right? Say it again. I said it's mine now to keep though, right? Uh, sadly, he told me I had to give mine back. Yeah, Apparently, there's like no the magical, there's no magical copier machine here. I, they have them in in Knightsbridge, but apparently that technology hasn't made its way here. But I do appreciate the notes, Erasmus. Thank you. I, I'm You're welcome. I knew copying. they'd come in handy. <laughs> I don't want some ice cream, too. Anybody want dessert? <laughs> I, I pass her, like, a bucket. Pass him a bucket. Slide it across the table. Thanks. I mean, it looked like you were kind of going to town, so I didn't know if you wanted to share. <laughs> I could always get more buckets. It's fine. I actually avoid uh, ice cream, but thank you. Why? Well, because it helps. If you have a lot of dairy, it'll produce a lot of phlegm, and that can get in the way when you're trying to speak or perform or something like that. Oh. I'm going to write that down. I was unaware of that. But ice cream is so tasty. I've had it. It, it is okay. You know, my. <laughs> My friend Elizabeth, she was always trying to get me to eat more. She kept, like, giving me food and, like, throwing it at me and things. Is she a monkey? <laughs> no. <laughs> she just didn't really know how to express herself very well. But she, I think she meant for the best. I, I think she forgot throwing that I'm a halfling. Throwing food at you? She, she forgot that I'm a halfling. And she... Could she, she just, not see you? It's not that she couldn't see me, it's more like she just thought that I should be eating more. I was only 30 pounds as a halfling. That's Tiny. very little. You could fit it in my pocket. <sighs> yes, I, I'm not quite used to being tall. I, I find myself getting hungry a lot in this body. You're, you're not tall, just to be clear. I mean, I'm six foot three, I think. What? No, I thought you were six foot even. Are you six three? Uh, she's. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> well, actually, according to I my character sheet, yes. I'm two nine oh, and thirty hold on. pounds. Hold on. Uh, it should say it should say six three. Yeah, should be six three and one hundred and eleven. Wait, Niev is six three. Niev is six three. What? Yeah, that's why if you look at the sheet, and Nieva's the tallest uh, in the on the front page. Nieva's the tallest person in the group. Well, next to I you. should be the tallest. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, you're you're still a foot and eight inches under me, lady. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying this is very tall compared to what I'm used to. I bet. Is it hard having legs, Neil? I never I... quite would have put it that way. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> So Brianna will get a speculative look on her face, and she's like, "No, I think I can make this work." <laughs> Imagine the things I can reach now. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm, I'm totally talking about that. I don't know where that is going. So, uh, um, how 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 late are we in the day? Senior GM? It's still early. You guys came here like even before lunch and started ordering appetizers. <laughs> Brianna will so lean much over. Is, so much has happened already. <laughs> Brianna will lean over to Trent and she'll be like, hey, do you know any like 
clubs or anything around here? Anywhere that, like, people can perform? Um... Would that be a knowledge local? That'd be a knowledge local. Did no one tell her that he's the dead weight? <laughs> no idea. You couldn't find any of them. My nice two. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't put it in the dossiers. Why? Because none of us needed a club ask, before. Uh, you probably got to ask uh, Agnar for uh for the location. Oh, okay. Trying to pad that bed is all you're doing there, Tom. Oh Lord. <laughs> well, I, oh, I'll Lord. Uh, keep an eye out for him. He said he he's normally uh, by the entrance. By the entrance. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for him. If we have two, then what happens? <laughs> We're screwed. Considering I already died with one, it's not a great situation. What happened to the GM? <laughs> He slumped over. <laughs> and I hear giggles in the background. <laughs> I think he's crying. Maybe he has been possessed by somebody else. Oh, this is a great line. What if we have two? It's not a great prospect. At least they'll look nice when they're dead. <laughs> Did I just roll the dice for some reason? I didn't I... see it, so... I am not uh, in a hurry to die anymore, so I, I didn't much like it the first time. Yeah, no, that wasn't great. What other flavor of ice cream do you have over there? Um, I don't think I ordered. I think they've just been giving me random flavors. Okay, can we trade? What do you have? Uh... I think this one, it says pistachio. Ooh, ah, nice. Okay. As long as it's not that gross rum raisin. Ooh. No, nobody wants that. I mean, I've nobody heard wants enough, that shit. But yeah, pistachio sounds good. See? It's vegetarian protein. Yes, but the phlegm. I, I, I couldn't deal with the phlegm. No, I'm saying nuts. Oh, nuts. Okay. I mean... They're a good snack. I used to carry some around. Yeah, just keep a whole purse full. Purse of pistachios. <laughs> Alright. You guys do yet. discuss a lot of nutrition in this campaign. <laughs> in some ways... So in some ways, actually, uh, you guys have spent more time, I think, in banana flies than you have in the campus. Did you um, wake up super hungry, new girl? Uh, I was more confused. The The wolf, uh, it was growling Ooh, that at me. wolf must hate you. Yeah, I, I was You're not even scared. trying to look like its owner. I kind of, I kind of screamed. Uh, I think, and I the woke wolf? up. Con I, if you woke up and there was a huge wolf like growling in your face and you could smell it, it's nasty, wet dog smell. God, it smells a lot like Nikolai. I don't know what to do with you. <laughs> I don't think we can have two. We need may need to try and recruit some new party members. Is that an option? Wow. I see. So, uh, let's not, uh, let's, uh, you know, let's... Nikolai, on. something, some familiar voice in the back of your head reminds you that it's not, it's not nice to be mean to people. I'm tired and hungry, okay? Well, let's, uh, let's, ha let's have some food and then we'll... You know, uh, spend a day perhaps gainfully studying. You know, that's always good for me when I'm uh, when I'm down. You know, I feel like Learning I could sleep for like three days. Smile. What's that? I feel like I could sleep for like three days. That may be one of the side effects of the resurrection. Hmm. 
well, uh, if you're going to need to sleep for a couple of days, um, the rest of us can, you know, do whatever it is people do. Things. <laughs> Stuff. I, 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 guess I'll just, gun. I can always look for that Agnar guy. He sounds like fun. Yeah. And at, seeing as good. I'm not wanted around here, then... I'm you, just no, a little no, grumpy. No, no it's said fine. You wanted around here. It's really just Trent. He's the dead weight, and since you like him, that makes it more challenging. I, I, I said not... I was looking... Oh, my apologies. I was looking forward to learning sling techniques. Well, I would be happy to show you. Well, thank you. Erasmus I'd... is completely uncomfortable with a, a charisma role in this party, and it's like, I hate people. I, uh, um... I don't know why you all don't like Trent, and I don't have the history to not like him myself. I'm keeping trying to keep an open mind about all of you since I'm new here. Read the dossier. <laughs> well, Is it in yeah, the dossier? I mean, there's a dossier on everyone in the party. I know, but I mean, is it in the dossier like like Niev's dossier? Would it say like why she doesn't like Trent? No, because Erasmus wouldn't think other people would want to give their input on this. <laughs> okay. And would not at any point go, what would another person even go, nah, this is my meticulous note taking and it's good enough. So it's all horribly, it's all horribly full of stuff like doesn't study enough, you know, uh, stuff like that. So. Uh, no, I mean, there's a, if everyone wants to read their dossiers on everyone else in a weird kind of, uh, you know, gestalt kind of therapy thing, we can. I, I not uh, anticipate that, but let's see where that goes. Bust him out. All right. <laughs> dossiers for all. Dossiers for all. Okay, uh, the word dead weight, which with Trent is used only a couple of times. Uh, uh, not directly calling him dead weight, however, there is, uh, you know, you know, comments about parties and God, I hope I never get invited, as I have made that abundantly clear, I never want to go. But, you know, you know, there's also a study plan for him that I had written up. Uh, that he never wanted, which I did, in fact, write up that uh, he never wanted. <laughs> so that's what's in his dossier. I think overall the dossier would kind of evaluate Trent as just being somebody who's not like not a studious and so likely to bring down the grade in the uh, in the class. Yeah, because I'm a grade grubber. Yep. I'm, I'm looking to I'm looking to maximize my uh, exposure here at uh, Mersad. For for Constog's uh, dossier on Trent just says jerk over and over. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's only of, it's just a sheet of paper with the word jerk on it and then like <laughs> Trent's name in the corner. Did the whole party take dossiers? Because now I want that to have been a No, the whole party did not take dossiers. No, I just yeah. have notes, but it's just for him. It's just a bullet point jerk. Moving on. There's a lot of question marks in the Constag. For one, first off, there's the wrong name like eight or nine times. <laughs> Most of it, it's like Comstock, and then you rewrite Comstock after crossing it out. And then realize yeah. you've done it, and then cross it out, and then spell it differently. I think a druid, there's some confusion as to which race Constag is. Uh, goblin? And then um, just notes on the stag and how great the stag is doing as a party member. <laughs> Thanks for at least And you have birds. Credit. You've got to have birds written down several yeah. times on the sheet. Lot, lots of birds. That stag is the MVP of a lot of our combats. Let's be honest here. Uh, so, uh, you know, and uh, there is some regret that I came off a little brusque with Nikolai the first time I met Nikolai, so that is in there. And uh, that's about it. 
lots of things about how we could improve our grades. I'm also very upset. Oh my God, the whole incident with me getting an F thanks to your other character is in there. <laughs> that was emotionally tough for my character. <laughs> I'm like, oh. Oh my God, that F incident. Oh. Erasmus thinks about it and it, it has the vapors, takes a drink of water. <laughs> so a, a thought has just occurred to Brianna. So is F bad? Yep. Yeah. I mean, we don't really go to school to learn how to do any of this, so I don't really know. Like, so w what's a good grade then? Like the a, a plus, A or B. Okay, so it just kind of goes down the alphabet then. There's no E though. No E. Okay. No one knows why. <laughs> Wait, there is one. There's no yeah, e. why isn't there? That's that's a what? question for the age. What do you mean there's no E? There's no E. Have you ever gotten E as a grade? Uh, no. Technically, Michelle has gotten E's as grades. We I don't remember have being F's, surprised. We have e's. Oh, that's unusual. They just randomly switched that. Oh, also, you just uh, outed her for getting an F, dude. Well, it, she brought the grade up. Good job, Michelle. When I was in school, out of character e was for like exceeds expectations like it's not a grade well like they they had things that you didn't get letter grades on but like they were talking mm -hmm. about classroom behavior or whatever so they would have like an e that was like exceeds expectations which may be why there's not a letter grade e i don't know did you get lots of e's i would yeah i was kind of a nerd what 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 changed nothing i'm still a nerd <laughs> Good. I went to Chicago thought. public schools. A lot of our report cards was does not attempt violent activities during the <laughs> A that plus. Was, that was never part of my report card. <laughs> well, Charles went to CPS, so. Yeah, I went to some real jinky schools, for real. <laughs> like, we used to say Gage Park is, we used to call it Garbage Park. And like 57% of our class went to the military. We were like a military theater school. Including you, yeah. Including me, yeah. So. All right, well, now That's that everybody's got it. 57%. It's, it's ridiculous, yeah. Um, it's like so basically so we can get the hell out of here. Race, I'm yeah. going to, you know, I'm going to ask for, you know, feedback. You know, is it clear? You know, did you find reading the dossier helpful? Uh, you know. Uh, was my handwriting, you know, up to par? So Trent, how many of these dossiers did you read? Uh, I just wrote a TLDR at the bottom <laughs> of mine. So. <laughs> I handed it directly back to him. I, I was anticipating that you would not read it. <laughs> no, no, this well, doesn't really feel like me. Are you different since you came back, too? I mean, you've been confused sometimes, like, about the the ukulele on your back. Yeah. I don't know. I probably just need more food. It takes a lot of energy to die and come back, you know? He says eating, like, the third, the equivalent of a third meal for a person. <laughs> yeah. Do you know how many carbs are in all of that? Uh, as many as I can eat, hopefully. Wow. What? What is your concern with carbs? They make you. They make you gain weight. They make you bloat. Um. Okay. I don't know, my little sister was always eating everything, and she was fine. But what was your little sister, what did your little sister do, out of curiosity? She was a performer. She didn't sing, though. Hmm. What'd she do? Like, what did she, how did she perform? She actually played ukulele and, uh, what was it, piccolo. Oh. It's almost like you're channeling her or something. You're eating a lot. You're playing. You've got a ukulele on your back. I don't know. That would be weird. 
stranger things have happened. Did like to eat though. Well, so there's no classes today. Like when? Uh, how soon before I have to? Oh. Before I have to pretend to be a druid. Um. So I'm not sure. So you guys still have a few days that you don't. You don't have to go back to your regular classes because you were supposed to be out doing the. Uh, delivering the message and you are you are likely um, the rest of Erasmus you would definitely know this you're likely to pass all your classes for the semester if you didn't want to well I guess Trent would know this more than anybody else because Trent would be excited about this Trent you lost a party member the rest of this semester is already taken care of for you uh, they oh, basically exactly. give you a passing grade if one of your party members dies even oh, yeah, though the, I came the back? dead man on campus rule. Yes. <laughs> Even though you came back, yeah. So do well, I get it too? Yes. Because I died. It's traumatic. Dying is traumatic. Really? Yes. No one told me that. So then I could possibly just not go to my druid classes, say that I need time to grieve, or do I have to at least show up? You've technically already showed up. Which will give you more time are you to asking try and that out of question? Out I mean, are you asking that out of character, or is that something you're just kind of posing to the table? I I'm posing it to the table because I, I don't know how to be a druid. Like I can cure light wounds, but that's about it. That's about the only spell that I share with druids. I think. Well, you, you should go to class anyway, right? I mean, what if there's valuable information that you might need? As a druid, I agreed. I'm, I'm sure they're teaching something valuable there. You've got some kind of prejudice stuff. against druids? I have no prejudice against druids. I just don't like to hug trees, okay? Uh, well, clearly you have trees. some biases about what it means to be a druid. Wow. I feel like hugging trees. Hey, hey, it's okay, Constock. We'll find your sister. Dude, I mean, a lot of, a lot of, I mean, from what I could tell, about being a druid coming from a group of elves that does not want in any way to be outdoors. There is a lot of tree hugging, but you know, you get rewards for it. Trees talk to you or some shit. It's, it's pretty exciting. I have some wood elf cousins. They do a lot of weird stuff. They don't like to wear clothes. We, we try not to talk to them, but they, they still show up. At the family gatherings, they bring their pets around. Yes, exactly. Oh, good lord. <laughs> this food isn't even cooked. Brianna will kind of wrinkle her nose and be like, I see. I just don't think that I'm going to pass very well as a druid. I tried to throw away some trash in the room and Constog got very emotional. It, I don't know, it was just a bunch of old like food and stuff. Well, right. maybe Comstog could help to be you to be a druid. I mean, Comstog is very good at the things that druids do. Comstog kind of loves her druid. trash. Sorts her trash. Yeah. Hangs around with Compost. animals, even when it's not necessary. Well, everyone just looks over at the freaking stag that's sitting right next to the table. <laughs> the stag has full party membership in my mind at this point. You know, uh, agreed. Uh, hey, wait, 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 wait. Really. So, so the five paws that are in are n one of them is not Trent, one of them is the stag. I'm working on a dossier for the stag. I think I may <laughs> interview the stag. Very angry. You're gonna need to speak but with animals for that. Angry stag noises. Oh, that would be so good. But, uh, existential stag noises. The stag has deep thoughts on my. I don't know. Just because I have horns, it doesn't mean I don't have thoughts in my head. And feelings. Yes. But, you know, I think, uh, you know, I think it'd be a great way, you know, cons for Constag to uh, once again do whatever it is druids do. Um, you know, uh, you know, a little cross disciplinary study. 
Well, maybe Niev will take some bardic classes to try and find herself after losing her party member. Is it too late to sign up for more classes? Uh, it is too. It is not too late to sign up for your next semester classes. Bardic studies, eh? That's that's what I am. I, I. So, Brianna will kind of look at at Erasmus and say. So what what do you do? What what is it that you do? Which one of us? She's looking at you, Erasmus. Oh me? Well, I am uh, I am uh, Matt. I am studying the arcane. It is my passion. I hope to revolutionize the goal of spell components and uh, you know develop myself into a leader. And if one day you woke up and you were expected to go to druid classes, would you know the first thing about what to do in a druid class? I would go to druid class. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel. Well, I, I, you know, I, 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 I'm at I school for a lot of reasons, you know? I, I understand that I'm not supposed to tell anybody that, you know, I'm not Niev, but I'm just trying to think of ways that possibly... I can still do what I love without, you know, alerting people that I'm different. Although I am gathering that this Niev person and I were about like night and day. That's a, that's a, a, a fair assessment. I think, I mean, there's some crossover between Druid and Bard. I mean, so... One could sort of leap into the other. I mean, personality-wise, it's a, a little different, though. Erasmus, maybe you could uh, do some research. Maybe there's some sort of amnesia monster <laughs> you can help her help her with. We can pretend she was attacked by that. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to take that as a legit suggestion. I'm going to write that down. Look into amnesia monster. <laughs> Okay, why not? Yeah, I'm gonna look for an amnesia monster. Well, I, I guess we don't. I mean, if we don't have to go to class, and you're worried about blowing your cover, if that would be the correct designation for such a thing, and you can't really go to druid class. That that was my concern. You, you see, bards, they don't learn every spell the way druids do. They can only learn a certain number of spells. So I'm very limited in, in the things that I can cast. Aside from, you know, being able to heal, I really don't have a lot of druidic type spells. So Seems that's... a tad bit limiting. I mean, yeah, I, I, I get that. I mean, kind of why I am who I am is because I want to learn all the spells. Um, so, I mean, we really should probably talk to our advisor and, and kind of find the best best path. You know, we did have some missions we were doing, but those I'm guessing are, are kind of canceled now because certain things have come to light. You know, but, uh, you happened? know, we are... Go ahead. Oh, the ranger stuff. Yeah, but you know we are maintaining a cover right now, and we have some some things on our plate, and and an impressive amount of ice cream is being eaten. So you know, I Delicious. mean, we, we have to, uh, you know, but we will eventually have to figure out what we're supposed to do. That that's my point. You know, Brianna will kind of look at Constog sadly, and she'll say, "I'm sorry." can't bring back your sister and I don't know how and I know that it must be very hard for you to see her face but it not be her but I'm I'm just saying that when I told uh, the professor that I wasn't Niev he had me prove it by casting a spell and that's all the proof that they needed to see that I wasn't who I said I was or I wasn't, I was, that I was telling the truth, I should say. So 
what do y'all think? Do you think we should come to clean to the professor about Neo disappearing? I think the professor already knows, right? He, yeah, he knows. He the oh, yeah. day oh, that but we she, she doesn't know that he knows. I'm sorry. Go ahead. The day that uh, they were talking to you to make sure that you wanted to come back, uh, we told the professor that I was Brianna, and that's what I was saying. Is he? had me cast a spell to prove it. Uh, yeah, the prop so, is in the know. That's that's why I'm trying not to let anyone find out, as he said to not let anyone find out. Is he looking for a way to switch you guys back? I, I don't know. I don't know very much about what his plan is. He was... The sense that I got is that he was dealing with one crisis and this was just kind of icing on the cake I guess it seemed like you know this was just another fire he needed to put out but I, the thing is that the procedure that, that switched us was experimental and I don't even know if the one who performed it even knew what he was doing hmm Yeah. Good shit. I would hope that with this being a university, however, that perhaps, you know, they have a lot of books. Maybe maybe somebody knows this harvest guy and they know how to work his book. I, I don't know. I could go to the library. I, I, yeah. We could go to the library. I... It's your uh, sister's favorite place. Well, sister now, I guess. All right. Well, All this right. is a bit inverted. The party moving from banana flies to the library. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're kind of trading it up. Let's see how this all goes after we come back from a short break. Shortly.